by Alexander Daffy and Amr Mudd in the Associated Press Washington, President Joe Biden on Thursday presented the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military award for valor in combat, to three soldiers who fought in Afghanistan and Iraq. Two were recognized posthumously. Our hearts are overflowing with gratitude today as we honor the unparalleled courage, the commitment to duty, and the indispensable, indisputable gallantry," Biden said at a White House ceremony. Master Sergeant Earl Plumley, a Special Forces soldier who fought off Taliban insurgents after an attack in Afghanistan in 2013. Sergeant First Class Christopher Solis, 32, an Army Ranger who died after stepping between Taliban fighters and a U.S. helicopter evacuating wounded in 2018 in Afghanistan. Sergeant First Class Alwyn Cash, 35, who died as a result of burns he suffered while rescuing fellow soldiers from a burning vehicle in Iraq in 2005. Kate Solis and Tamara Cash accepted the medals of behalf of their families. As honored as you are, it's gotta be tough to be here today," Biden told Cash's family. Cash is the first black service member to receive the Medal of Honor for military actions since Vietnam, according to the White House. He was on patrol in Iraq in October 2005 when the Bradley fighting vehicle he was commanding was attacked with small arms fire and a roadside bomb. Cash repeatedly returned to the burning vehicle and pulled six soldiers from the wreckage. Despite his burns, Cash refused to board the medical evacuation helicopter until the other soldiers were evacuated first. Cash, who grew up in Oviedo, Florida, died the burn at a Texas hospital the following month. Three of the soldiers he pulled from the flaming vehicle also died. Solis was leading an operation to clear an area of enemy forces in Afghanistan in 2018 when his team came under attack. He used his body to shield his unit from enemy fire as a casualty was loaded onto a medical evacuation helicopter. Solis stayed behind to cover the aircraft.